It is just remarkable, especially when you see that video that we've been showing over and over again. We actually asked how he wanted to be titled for this piece tonight, and he said God's child, because there's just no other explanation for how he is alive tonight. It wasn't my time to go. Despite excruciatingly painful burns covering 60% of his body and multiple bone breaks and fractures, Cordell Patrick is in good spirits, grateful to be alive. Why do you think you're here? Higher power. My survival is a miracle. It truly is. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Speaking from his bed at Henry Mayo Hospital, Newhall, Patrick described his harrowing near-death experience while he and his wife were on their way home from an RV trip in Menifee. They were on the 14 freeway just 10 minutes from their home. The crash and the aftermath caught on camera. i just gotten up to go use the restroom, and that's the same At that moment, my wife fell asleep. So I tried to grab the wheel to get her straight, but by that time impact had already happened. I was like, there's not a window over here. I couldn't, I knew I was out and I knew I was sliding down the freeway and I was bouncing. So I was turning from one side to the other side, to my face, to my head, back to the other side. And when I finally stopped 170 feet later, I noticed that uh, I needed to get out. I was partially in one of the lanes. I was trying to get up, but my left ankle was turned backwards. So I'm like, that's not going to work. So I drug myself out of that lane and I ended up putting my back to the median and rested until somebody can come. Somebody could come. One of those good Samaritans spoke to Fox 11 earlier today. I started running the, the center divider until I saw him and I jumped down and ran to him. It was, I just told him, man, you're a savior. You're a lifesaver. You're a savior and you're a lifesaver. I'm your host for the next 30 minutes, Cordell Patrick. Patrick is an award-winning sportscaster, and he says he's got more work to do. He credits his faith and his positive attitude for his second chance at life. It's a mindset. I wasn't going to be defeated out there that day. Not at all. And he says he's also grateful that his wife is okay. That was the first thing he asked about when he kind of came to when he was out there on the freeway. Now, he's scheduled for his first surgery tomorrow morning. He's got a long road of recovery ahead, but hopefully that attitude will take him far. Reporting live in Santa Clarita, I'm Chelsea Edwards. I'll send it back to you guys.